What's going on? JT here at Elm Street Studio. And I'm letting your mirror dry right now. I just finished priming it up. Now I noticed when I started putting this thing together, <sighs> there's a gap, but I don't mind because uh, this is my son's and I know he's going to break it probably within a week. So <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's one of those deals. So very much to make sure it gets dry to the touch. This primer, which I use the Valjo, I guess Valjo, whatever the hell he's called, primer. Right there. It, you know, it, uh, runny, but it dries pretty quick, but you got to be cautious because you get runs. Usually I use something else. I forgot what it's called. And it's a thick primer. It kind of helps with layers. We got Jerry in the house. What's up, Jerry? Fork? Jerry? And we got Josh B in the house. What's going on? Not much. Just jumped on and grabbed me some coffee here because it's going to be a long night tonight. Know what I mean, Vern? And, uh, not ready to do this. That's the one thing about the other primer that I, I missed using. I, even though it's more expensive, I might buy it. Because you only really need one coat to put on it. But this stuff, I notice, you know, even the dark gray bleeds through a lot. But on the other stuff I use, really didn't. So I might go back to the, the stuff I use. And it's like a pack. You get black, white. Is that why it's doing that? Yeah, it is. It's picking that up. Ain't that something? Yeah, I got product mode on there, so I got to remember. <laughs> New airbrush didn't come in. It, it's on its way. Hoping to use it. So, And I know I changed my mind uh, on the whole deal. Because, uh, you know, the RoboCat base. But I figured that I would uh, just do the base off camera because it, it's the base. <laughs> There's nothing cool about it. So I'll do that off camera. And I figured I'd do Mule Mirror because it was done. And Saturday, we'll be doing Zombie Batman, finishing him out. Which uh, probably won't take long. I thought about starting on him a little bit, but I didn't. I was like, I'll wait for the Saturday because I, I can stream longer on Saturday. That's still kind of tacky. So I figured I'd just come out and hang with y'all for a minute or two. Then It's not going to take long to, to paint your mirror because I'm doing two colors, gunmetal and leather brown. And for the handle, I'm actually going to paint, airbrush the... Uh, the whole thing in gunmetal, and then I'm just gonna uh, brush the leather brown on here. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too critique with it or professional because it's probably gonna break within a week. Even though I tell my son, be cautious, because he's still gonna hit things. Now, I mean, I tried to print this in FDM, but it kept failing, and that's really, you know, like cosplay. You wanna make that because it won't break. Cause I mean, I made him an Iron Man helmet, and I don't think it, I think it finally cracked, because I think he stepped on it, but it's, it has a split on the side, but, you know, he's four. But, you know, the kiddo, I asked him, Superman bust or a Thor's hammer, and he said Thor's hammer, but I didn't tell him when I was going to do it, so this is kind of a surprise. So hopefully he don't come down here, just out of ruin. Everything. Camera and just a little bit. Go. Yeah, back off. I need to buy a new lens. So yeah. How's everybody doing? Everybody said like I can really start painting this handle. I mean, 
I can paint this because it's tacky. You know, I can put paint on it. It's going to be all right. Like I said, it's, uh, it's going to be a professional job for a four-year-old. Because I thought about going ahead gluing it together and painting it. Let's say, uh, Josh said, JT, would you say the new nightmare is better than uh, Freddy's dead? Well, new nightmare is my favorite. He goes new nightmare and then Freddy's uh, nightmare on Elm Street 2. Because nightmare on Elm Street 2 got me in horror. But yeah, the, the, the you know, new nightmare has a better story than pretty much the original nightmare for me. It's just so good because it hits it on a personal level. Even though Freddy Krueger is, you know, invading kids' dreams, which is very, you know, sinister and personal, but New Nightmare has a, a good story. Uh, so, yeah. That Freddy, how serious he is and angry, that's the Freddy I want if they, if they do a reboot. And I really think, you know, a lot of people don't want to hear it, but they need to do a reboot and just give us that kind of Freddy. I don't want to, I don't want a funny Freddy. I don't want that. We had that for multiple films. That's a Robert England deal. So we need, uh, we need something new. Huh? When? Who knows? When? Uh, who knows when it's going to come out? But if not, you know, I said it once and I'll say it a hundred million times. That uh, new nightmare is uh, was my farewell to Freddy. You know, I'm I'm fine if they don't come up with another because it it left on a good note. You know? But if they do like a David Gordon Green deal and bring Nancy back, uh, Nancy should die. Like she did on third, uh, uh, in the third one. Or did she? We don't know. I mean, they could pick it up after three. Nancy didn't die. Which is possible. But I am going to glue this, this together. Go ahead and. Glue this together and uh, damn it, because this really doesn't matter. Just make sure. And this handle is actually bigger. I decided to shorten it down because low man uh, ain't that big. Because it has another metal piece to it, and I think it'd be too big. And I honestly would think it'd break quicker, so I shortened the, the handle down. He won't know. <laughs> he just know he got a door hammer. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start this up. This is probably the, the quickest paint job I've ever done. Which I said Robocop would be the easiest paint job if you're beginning and you're doing this, right? Uh, but I take that back because your mirror is really easy. You know, you, you can do steel color, gunmetal gray, gunmetal metallic. That's what I'd be using. As you see, I got the, the colors down there. And uh, pretty easy in brown. I mean, you don't have to do leather brown. I thought about turning that down a little bit. I thought about, you know, doing like black and red, but you know, maybe if I print another one, I'll do a custom, custom job and probably sell it. With me, Dream Wars, New Nightmare, Dream Master. Yeah, and that on Elm Street. Yeah, it's like, now I get older, four and five really wasn't that bad, but they're still not one of my favorites. I mean, I'll uh, I'll watch them, 
just to watch them, but if I have to prefer not to watch them, I won't. But if I'm on the kick, that nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, if I start with the first Nightmare on Elm Street, I watch all of them. It's just uh, one of those deals, you know? It's like, oh, I watched the first one. And, you know, they got them all on Max. Except New Nightmare. I don't think New Nightmare's on HBO Max, which is weird. I don't know. I forgot. I get some music because it can be playing kind of boring. This is, you know, sitting here not jerking. Rob Zombie tracked it. No. No, I have uh, James Wan. I think James Wan is the only one to give it to do it justice. Rob, Rob Zombie directed it. Just it'd be too, two seventies. It'd be too brutal. You know he has a certain style, and it just wouldn't fit with new uh, with Nightmare on Elm Street. And that's the thing. I think he got his style because of um, of a uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. But here's the thing. He was supposed to direct Freddy vs. Jason. And that's the one thing I always wanted to know. If he did direct Freddy vs. Jason, would he have that style he has now? Because I really think he came from uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Which, it was okay. My favorite one he did beside Halloween was Devil Rejects. But, like, that style, we don't... That style, if you look at Devil's Rejects, he needs to direct a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not a Nightmare. Yeah, yeah, Dream Yeah, a lot of people's Dream Warriors was their first one. I tell you what, I'm gonna have to get more of this gun metal stuff. Gun metal metallic. I love the look of this. It's a nice color. Right, that's what I really thought about. Uh, I really thought about painting Robocop this color because it would look slick. But I wanted to give Robocop back there uh, silver. You know, he was more of a silver. But it is a nice color. I mean, look at that. You know, y'all can see it. It's a nice color. I'm gonna put it on the side so I can see it more. But yeah, I know, mostly you know I strictly do horror characters. But every once in a while, like you see me, you know, it's one of those like it's RoboCop. RoboCop's iconic, you know, character. And really, Mjolnir is a. You know, it's like an iconic weapon. And this is really a surprise for my son. I thought about putting a wash on this. I might not. Because, I mean, I like how this color looks. I'm definitely going to buy, I'll probably buy like two or three of these. They're not really big. I mean, they're, they're four miniatures, let's be honest. And I'm printing this big ass thing, so it ain't going to take long. If you do that shit, did that land in the box? A 
Well. I ain't worry about that right now. I still like the OG movie. Yeah, I mean, I like the OG movie. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, two scared the shit out of me. And then I watched the first one. Because my sister showed me the second one because I, I, I rode a school bus. She did it being an asshole. You know, so... I mean, you can always tell the story. I mean... The bus driver, he was mean to kids, man. He really was. And I didn't know why because we wasn't. I mean, I say we wasn't that bad. We could have been little bastards, but I really wasn't. I was kind of quiet on the bus because a lot of my friends that I hung out with school when I rode a bus, they didn't take the same bus that I did. I mean, there was some crack kids, but he was mean. I never, I never understood why he was so mean until my sister showed me Nightmare on Elm Street 2. And I'm like, that figures. He's Freddy. And then, uh, you know, I told my friends that my sister, you know, let me watch uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Or she watched, you know, she played it and showed me. And uh, we supposed to go, uh, I was supposed to do a sleepover at my friend's house. And uh, we was going to watch the first one, and then we was going to watch the second one, and then we was going to watch uh, Friday 13th Part 3. And so my sister told me where he lived. It's two, two blocks from my house was Elm Street. I went, nope, I know how this one ends. And I, I didn't go. That's how much that movie scared me. And then it uh, unlocked the, lock, you know, unlocked something in me that got me to, Watch the others, and it was really my sister. Because after that, she showed me, you know, uh, like she had a big duffel bag, like big duffel bag of movies. She had all the Friday 13th, all the Halloween. She didn't have all of the Nightmare on Elm Street. I think she had the first three. Uh, and then she had Hellraiser, Pumpkinhead, and, you know, just, you know, snow snowball effect. What happens? You know? I don't mean to scratch that and flood that. Like I said, this is not going to be professional. I'm just... I should... You know what? I should get a latex. One second. And I got to find that metallic paint, too. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying one second. I got a wireless mic. It's going with me. Ow. I can't wait to play in the garage, man. Even though I got room, I have no room. I'm kicking boxes and that because I ordered too much shit. And that glove room. Won't even fit. I mean, these are my wife's gloves. What the hell with it? <laughs> I ain't doing this. Yeah, find that thing. Where the hell did that thing go? I gotta put this box in the garage or in the in the closet. There it is. I'm not gonna need it right now, but uh, I mean, I like wearing like well, non latex gloves because my wife's uh, allergic to uh, latex. That's why we have kids. That's my excuse. Um, 
I like wearing them because, you know, you won't leave fingerprints. But it's so warm here in the in the garage because when I 3D print, it has to be warm. And it's hard to... It's hard to get uh, gloves on. And technically, this ain't airbrush paint. If I was using airbrush paint, this would be dry in probably five minutes. So I keep on thinking because I'm putting it in an airbrush. It's airbrush paint, but it really ain't. It's model, like an acrylic. But the thing is, some airbrush paints don't have the colors that you really need. Like there's not a, like a leather brown or a red leather brown, you know, or a, I mean, there's gun metal, but it's like, and airbrush, another thing, airbrush paint really is inexpensive and it's a bigger bottle. Take this, I might have fingerprints, I've touched it up like this damn thing. Let's see, Pumpkinhead needs a, needs a remake, yeah. Hey, what's going on, Bearded? What's up, buddy? This uh, painting no mirror for the boy. Didn't like the reboot of Candyman. Uh, you know, it was okay. You know, it was different, but I liked the ending of it because I didn't expect it. I was like, wow, he came back for this one scene. But it was all right. I mean, I liked it better than Nightmare on Elm Street remake. That's for damn sure. I don't know if y'all can see that. When I was talking about that primer that I use, how easy it is to run. It runs. Like it's, I mean, it's good. It's just too runny. I'm going to buy some of the others that I use. I have like black, which I probably should have primed this with black. And I have a gap on this because I know because I cured it too long. I know what happened. I was thinking of the wrong thing. <sighs> Share a gift of one sub. And Tam was gifted the sub. <laughs> a... Welcome back to the Spork Force. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think my. Uh... I think my. Um... Airbrush got delivered. My phone went off. Now, figures. I ain't gonna use it now. I'll use it on Batman Saturday. Bearded, what are you getting into, buddy? No, what are you, what are you, where are you uh, printing, printing anything? I'm trying to print the the bottom part of uh, the Freddy phone again, and it's being a ass. And I just got confirmation that my screen protector on the big one is being got shipped today, so and that's good because it. I bought like a kit, which will give me uh, a gas to get that goes around it, and it gives me three. Now I gotta order a uh, um, bet because that one get more out. Jerry, what you been getting into? You been printing anything? Yeah, the uh, 
new uh, airbrush I got is a siphon instead of a gravity. So I can swap colors out quick. Yeah, I should probably prime this with black because, you know, white gray on this guy metal is almost kind of hard to see. Been painting and printing and making replica adjacent masks, getting really accurate replicas from. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh... I'll make sure that's all of it. I don't know why I look down, you know, because I can hit a button and bring back to <laughs> Yeah, we'll make this bigger. Yeah, I'm thinking about starting to sell some prints. Like um, the, the Rocky and uh, Apollo you know I, I'm at a standstill because I need my screen protector now if that this printer over here was glass I wouldn't worry about it but it's that acrylic screen I don't I don't like them you sneeze on the shit they break that's why I can't wait for the new uniformation GK3 hopefully it's gonna make an announcement here in a couple weeks because I'm gonna buy it because they're gonna have a, uh, a glass screen in which a glass screen, if you have a leak, you can take a razor blade and clean it off like a, a real razor blade. The acrylics, you need the, those plastic uh, razor blades, and they work sometimes. The, the master stone for 85 a piece. No, it's not. I thought about printing uh, a giant carpenter mask out of resin because that one's big enough to do it. And I could do a Jason mask with that one. I just can't do helmets, which I'm not really worried about helmets. So, yeah, think about doing the giant carpenter eventually. Because I have so much stuff I have to paint now. <laughs> Damn, that's already out. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to have to buy more stuff. I might not put a wash on this. I might just leave it how it is. Like I stated, I mean, my son's going to break this anyway. So. And I'm trying to finish it, you know, before I leave the work. If not, I'll definitely finish it tomorrow, but I should be done with it. And when I mean done, like painting. You know, I, I want to put a clear coat and everything on it. Mm. But yeah, man, 85 bucks ain't too bad, man. Now, are you using uh, leather straps or not? Be using the, uh, I forgot, I forgot the kind of. I think, damn it, why did I just do that? I've seen somebody makes, uh, oh, that got dirty. Oh, well, hell with it. I've seen somebody makes, like, straps for the, the hockey mask, like every one. I mean, it's a nice little penny, but they look good. <laughs> I was going to buy a zero uh, one from part seven. It was like uh, 60 bucks. But then he just made his straps.
Hell yeah. Well, a lot of people ain't a member because I discontinued the members. And now I just got one tier. Just for the emotes, you know. Like I've been contemplating to sell my FDMs. Well, if I'm going to sell them, it's only the Neptune 4 Max and the Pro. I'm not getting rid of the, the K1 Max. I do like that one. Fourteen. You make leather straps? Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Those ones are back higher than but part three, four, five. I'll use. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. I think that would probably be the most uh, what everybody wants is part three, four, and five. I mean, there's probably a collector there that wants all of them, you know? But if I would want one, it'd probably be, uh, if I get one, it would probably be four, three and four. I like seven, but like I said, I usually, I'd probably go with uh, three and four. What the hell's going on with this thing? Ah, uh, will you? Yeah, we're supposed to go to, I think in August. We're supposed to be going to a Supernatural convention a few months ago. And, uh... We're going to Florida. I think June. June or July. My hat mask is harder to come by. That's the worst straps to make. Yeah, man, but that's where you hit. You know, you find stuff um, a lot of people are not making. Like, you know, I'm surprised that some of these people, uh, like in a 3D printing, like especially resin. Um, I mean, you don't have to be resin. FTM, they <laughs> they didn't they ain't doing a John Carver design you know there's a mask but like figures nobody's doing it and i'm constantly saying man y'all need to do this so that's why i'm talking to a designer i'll just do it And I won't sell it either because even though when you put the rule out there, because that's like wicked, you know, you can, you can make, you can make the, uh, models, you know, that they give you for free for your Patreon, but, um, you can't sell the, uh, the file and they sell them anyway. Hey, Phoenix, buddy. No, I'm just, I went on Fiverr and just messages, message some to get a rough estimate of how much. Um, now, a designer did message me 
on Instagram. And uh, I wrote her back, like, well, how much do you charge? And she never, uh, she never wrote me back. So, unless she didn't get it yet. But nah, I just, uh, I look on, uh, just look on Fiverr. That's mostly where I go for everything. Because how you usually do it is if you can draw it, perfect, but like I gotta go to an artist and the artist would draw all it and you know make it and then I take it to a 3D designer and he would make it a print, you know. So I just go around asking how much you charge and some of them are like some ain't too bad. It's a slow process, but it's gonna happen. He said, it's going to be, I'm going to do John Carver, get that one drew and design, and then I'm going to do uh, the Angel Killer. I have that one. As I said, uh, nobody, nobody's doing them, man. And if you were in the selling, that's what you want to do, you know. You know, not the file, just print it, paint it, and sell it, because nobody has one. That I know of. I haven't seen one yet. I've just been seeing the mask, you know, the Angel Killer mask and John Carver mask. I haven't seen a actually figure or a bust. Now I'm not saying they might not be working on them now, but you know, Thanksgiving came out a month ago, so because mine, I want him to hold the axe. You know, and it's going to be a simple base, just a flat base, not good all big. And, you know, just kind of like Candyman out there, you know, flat base says his name. And that really, I'm just touching this up. That's all I'm doing, not missing much. Have them sit over there and dry. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the figurine is, just, cause that's where I'm. I don't mind doing busts, but I have more fun doing the figures or the statues they call them, you know, um, and that's when we get made. Oh, you're welcome. That's yeah, still in there. I thought about doing another Godzilla in resin. I want him to do a Godzilla in Kong, uh, diorama. Because that's what the Rocky and um, Apollo is, a diorama. But they haven't. So when I go down that rabbit hole of getting prints made and everything, it's no telling what I'm going to have. And that's a good thing, having it done, especially if you're a, uh, a horror fan like us. You know, a lot of cool stuff, you know. You look around, it's like, well, damn, they don't have that or this. I really don't have to hit this underneath on the sides because... I'm going to be brushing this. Let's see, five, four, oh yeah, I'm going to finish this quick.
but yeah. But yeah, man, I mean, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to make first and sell. I thought about doing another crow. Because I have multiple people asking me to make one and they buy it from me. <laughs> and I told them, I was like, oh, I don't know, you know. You don't have no idea how much that's going to cost. Resin-wise, resin-wise, it's a lot. Especially the one I, I made. There's two versions of it. They have the tall one that I made, and they have a small one. All righty. I'll see it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. That's a diorama. That's. I'll probably buy that. <laughs> as soon as I get off here, I'll buy it. And I don't know when I'm gonna print it, but. Like I said, I have so much that I gotta paint. And I mean, that's why I print, 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 print. Because, uh, um, uh, you give my printers a break. I have so much. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen it. I liked it a lot. That's cool. Touch us, man. I mean, I don't need to get this perfect. But you're not going to see me, but I'm going to take y'all with me because I forgot to get my brushes. Why is this what brush am I gonna use? Oh, and that's right, my brushes came in today too. Yeah, it's sweet, dear. Like you said, I'm probably gonna buy it and eventually paint it or print it. All right. Did a whole, uh, Bought a bigger paint booth and <sighs> well, of course I got these massive damn things in here. Another brown. Where's my pack? Do 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 do. Honor. Mm 
<laughs> this is probably not ready to paint on, but. Oh, well. This this paintbrush is screwed, man. I'm glad I ordered some more. Let that dry on ya. You know, it probably would have just been easier if I just sprayed this leather brown then did the metallic on these but it is what it is like and what i'm saying this 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 brush is screwed and the weirdest thing you know i clean them thoroughly thanks yeah i've told myself you know i need to get background music just sitting here painting you know, it's a little too quiet. You know, change the channel up or stream up a little bit. Because I like all kind of music, so... like a long elevator run <laughs> yeah what well, loops Mm -hmm. Well, technically, looking at this, hey man, this uh, bottom part shouldn't have came on this. They actually should have had that separate. That's why you just glue it on. Is I can try to avoid not hitting, but I am anyway. I know I will. I already did right there. Like I said, it's for a four year old. I get perfect, but still, you, you want to put some like oh, I'm just going to slosh it together. So I'm going to write the dude who made this like, hey man, you know that bottom piece? It's a lot better if you just, you know, take it off. And this came with a, a holder too, but I didn't print it because, you know, <laughs> you'll just lose it or break it one or two. And I know what I'm going to do when it dries where I touch the, the, these little metal parts right here. 
I'm gonna touch it up. I know I am. I'm gonna say, oh no, I'm not gonna touch it. And watch. I know I am. Hey Val. Yeah, after I, uh, I'm going to use this brush. It might be a little bigger, but not stiff. There you go. What I should do is just go upstairs on the porch because I know it's there. I can get my new brushes. But I'll wait until Saturday, and I'm going to throw these sons of bitches away. Yeah, it's, it's Thor's hammer. Which, like I said, I'm probably going to do another one, but I'll do black and red. Like chrome here, this little lace, red, everything black, this is red. Like the little symbols, probably red. I'll go like detail when I actually make another one. And I might print it just a little bit bigger. I'm waiting for my TV mount because I'm putting a TV right here and putting the chat on the TV so I have to look up and see instead of going, ah, you know, putting in front of me as soon as the you know, chat pops up, I get to see it. Yeah. Thanks, Eric. Don't forget to hit that chat or that like button. Shit. I'm not gonna get that over me. Yeah, I, I stayed at the beginning of the stream. This has gaps in it that cured it, but I don't care. Because it's probably. I'll, I'll be surprised if this thing lasts till Saturday. Because I know I'm gonna tell him don't hit anything, and he's gonna <laughs> hit and it's gonna break, and the handle's gonna break. But yeah, also Saturday, we're going to continue on the Batman, the zombie Batman. And I think the next thing I print is uh, the super zombie Superman. Then after that, probably the, the Harley Quinn zombie. And like do a, that's probably my series on Saturdays. Just go ahead and knock them out. Because I had those, uh, I bought those, um. Ever since I got my first resin printer, I believe, that uh, Cruelty. I 
and the small Batman head right here. One day I'm gonna paint this, this dude right here, and that'll probably give away. So here, you want a Batman head? <laughs> There's so much I gotta do guys. Like I gotta get a display case, hang it over there. Cause right now the crow leather face, uh, they're sitting on the ground. And the crow out of all of them, that took the most work. Damn it. No one mean burn. Well, I'm gonna be done with this quicker than I thought. Uh, what type of printer do you have in order to get a 3D printing? Well, Oracle, um, I got a lot. <laughs> That's not that I'm not being a smart ass. Uh, I got FDM. Which is the real, they're on the real. I got three of those, which I don't use. And I got resin, which is uh, that one and that one right there. And that's what I print these out of. Now, like technically, if you're doing mule mirror, right? You want to do it on an FDM printer because that's what cosplay, uh, cosplayers use because they're more durable. Resin is one of those just like Candyman up there. Uh, you just want to set them up there because like if he falls and he hits the ground, it's almost like glass. He'll go in pieces. So I made this out of resin for my four-year-old, which I know he's going to break, but it's one of those deals that uh, shut up uh, that, you know, I've been wanting to print one of these. I had this ever since I bought my uh, FDM printers. And uh, uh, the resin, you know, you, you get good quality with the resin, but there's no durability. Unless you like do ABS resin, which is a tougher resin. But I don't mess with that type of resin because um, I got my, uh, which it wouldn't be hard to cycle, not cycle in, but dial it in for your printer. But I use one kind of resin. So I just buy that new resin, let it get to the temperature, then just put them in there and start running and I won't have failures. When you start with a different type of resin, you have to do the exposure test, you know, do a piece exposure test. It's just a handbag. I'm just a type of guy. So let's put it in there. Let's run it and get over with until your FEP wears out, which that the FEP is what the, the resin sticks are to and it pulls off. But when you get a 3d printer, you need to slice, uh, programs which is resin it could be uh link box uh chat box uh, fdm it can be you know um uh what's the it has a what is it a like, krelty has one algu has one uh orca you know the thing about Linky, Linkbox, whatever, it does resin at FDM, but it costs, it's not free. On the ground should be on, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, May Ann hit it big. on the stream she got two other ones she got the uh michael and she got the ghost face black And as soon as um, 
I get my uh, screen protector, Val. I'll take care of you. That's what's holding up right now because it's going. Take care of you is going on that one because I could print it faster. Which I'm hoping my screen protector gets here this weekend. Because the guy's, he, his business or where he's at is in uh, Los Angeles. So it should be here in like three days. So probably, hopefully Saturday he gets here and I'll start printing Saturday. Can you make me a Friday 13th mask? I can. I just don't know when. Unless I put it on the FDM printer, then I can do it. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got one. I think I got part seven. I got part seven and I think I got part three. And then I got a clown one. It's like a uh, clown design, which is kind of cool. The, the mouth is all cut out in like sharp teeth. Forgot about that. How bad does the resin, let's see. How bad does, uh, pull that up. Uh, how bad does the resin put off fumes? Would you recommend being okay in a bedroom? Uh, it depends on what you're getting. I'm in a big area, so I don't smell it as much. If you, and it depends what printer you got. If you, you get a printer, that has USBs on the top, like uh, the Jupiter SC, um, then they have air purifiers. Because I'm in a big room, I can't smell it, but you're still gonna have that smell. Always wear a, ma a mask anyway. I kinda do <laughs> when I pull them out, but how I have my supports, I can just peel them right off the plate and just throw them in alcohol. But if it's in a small bedroom, I would recommend not. You know, unless you open up a window. If you get one that has a, an exhaust it puts out in the window but yeah i would highly recommend don't not in a bedroom unless it's a big bedroom you're going to smell it and the thing is not really the um the the, the fumes it's uh the, the alcohol the ipa that's what's brutal <laughs> that's nine times out of ten why i wear a mask because it's brutal Just an extremely generous and great, but I have been wanting a GT piece for long as to keep keep in mind. This is a predator bus. Corey really, really want it. I want it. Gift it to her. Yeah, so I told her that I'll do her do a a, a Michael Myers bus. The one that my Ann won, I do her one in resin. Yeah, because it was nice. And that's another one. It took a lot of work and I mean it took me 12 hours I painted it 12 hours straight that predator and it, it turned out to be okay to be a rush job because I had to hurry up and paint it I think I, I started as I think it was 7 when I started and I didn't get done till 5 30 in the morning No, I started at, at five and I didn't finish till 530 anymore. So yeah, so it was like 12 and a half hours. Because when, and that's the problem with fails. If something ain't right with a resin printer, and it might be the program. You have to reslice it. Well, reslicing doesn't take long. But when you got something like that. And it was the gun. And it failed because it was my fault. I had the uh, uh, printer running too fast. Because I got multiple uh, profiles for... The Sonic Mega AKS, and I loaded the wrong one. Hmm. 
All right. Let that dry. I'm gonna put water in this. I mean, I don't know why I'm putting water in this because as soon as uh, I'm done with this, I'm throwing the stamp brushes away. Actually, I probably might keep this one because this one's still good. Uh, yeah, Coriander wanted the Predator. Because before um, I told him, you know, I'm not going to do another one. And if I do, it's going to be the helmet. And, uh, Because it was just a lot of work, man. And not print, printing, it, it's the painting that, you know, takes so long for that. Because I messed up once when I did it, and that's why I decided to do a custom job, paint job on it. And uh, and then everything was fine. Because the original paint job I wanted, like you see on the 87, I couldn't do. Because how it was designed, so I'm like, ah, custom, why not? Yeah, she did. <laughs> so I told Val, I'll take care of her. She did a nice thing. Yeah, when they saw it, you know, I mean, that's what even Sarah said. She goes, I know it'd be good, but I didn't know it was going to be that good. And that's what I also say is like, I did that 12 and a half hours rushing. Could you imagine what it looked like if I just took my time? If I had like three, three, four days to, to print it, I think it would be more detailed into it, you know, um. I try to be, but you know, she gave it up, you know, I'm like, you know what? I have to do something, you know? And, uh, I only printed the Michael bust once and I wanted to do it in resin. And then I started doing the Rocky and the, uh, the Apollo. And then, uh, the, uh, the base, I'm down with just the base and it kept, uh, son of a bitch. That's another thing coming Thursday. I got a brand new clip that this ain't going to fall anymore. Um, the base kept failing and I found out my, my fat was going bad and uh, my build plate got loose. So I, I took the, the vat off and I found out there I uh, had a little resin underneath the screen protector. So, or on the screen protector, the screen protector shot, so I pulled it off, so I can't level it until I get the screen protector, and so, after all that, so I, it, I finished the Rocky, I'll do the, uh, well, I actually probably might do Michael in that one, because I ordered, like, six boxes of resin, <laughs> so I'll probably start Michael on that one, probably tonight, um, it probably won't be as big, uh, Val, you know, it'd probably be, uh, his head probably be a little bit bigger than this because I don't know where your space is. And uh, that's the one thing about resin. Even if you haul it out, it still takes a lot. Yeah, it was only, it was, it was like about 12, 12 and a half hours, just somewhere around there. And I rushed it. And that's what, and that's, I think, I, I liked it. I think I did a good job. I was somewhat happy. But when I look at it, I mean, I got the, the, the pictures. Um, it's like, man, you know, if I just had just like two days to paint that. And uh, so I put it in a contest. Uh, it didn't win. And I'm not one of those big ego guys, you know. But the thing that one wasn't even painted, it was just a print that they glued together. I'm like, Fuck, seriously? I mean, it was some kind of creature. I don't even know what the hell it was. And, uh, well, no Godzilla one. 
And God did Godzilla with blood. I mean, you look at the Predator, there was more detail in the Predator than the Godzilla. Godzilla was just, he painted Godzilla and they, they painted his eyes and stuff like airbrushed it like sky blue. And if you turn around and I saw that one. And then the second place wasn't even painted. That's what it was. It wasn't even painted. I'm like, and mine didn't even place. It's like, okay, so. And that's Frozen, the company. It made that and like I ain't never doing that one of their events again, you know. Cause it's like what the hell, you know? Because you'll win resin, you know. And the resin <laughs> that they was given, I don't even use anyway because it's crazy. I mean, I get like a, a thousand grams for like seventeen bucks. Their thousand grams is like forty eight dollars. So I'm like, no. Is it okay? It's a good size. Yeah, like I say, I was thinking about that. all because the thing is, I have all this like big rim, which I really don't, honestly. The, the Michael that she got, it was sitting on the floor. <laughs> that I don't, but I figure it's like, you know, give something good size, but uh, not too big. Like you put on a desk or whatever, you know. And especially if I do it on that one, um, it's still gonna be good size. It ain't gonna be something like that, you know, because that one's that's a big boy. All right. Okay, so this is going to be fun to put together. <laughs> here, well, it's been on the main camera right here because I'm pretty much done. He said, I don't think I'm going to... Um, Put a wash on. Dirty up. Which I'm gonna do, you know, uh after it. What, you're not going in now because I painted you, you son of a bitch. I oh, know there it is. Like I said, you can see a gap there because I over cured it. But going to a four year old, he's going to break it. I know he is. That's why I didn't hide the seam, I wasn't worried about hiding the seam. And uh, I, sh I shortened because y'all just got in the stream. I shortened the handle. The handle actually has another middle piece, but I think it's too long. And I'm afraid he'll break it, you know. But then again, he might not break it. But yeah, I, I cured this too long and it warped it. But uh, still cool. <laughs> Uh, I'll make him another one and put more time in it, you know, but I'll do it FDA. That's why I know he won't break it, but yeah, I'm worthy. <clears throat> yeah, I probably won't put a wash on this. I like how it looks. Like I know some people that would drive crazy. That gap. So there we go. Well, yeah. Whoops. Hang on, folks. I don't know why it does this. There you go. Stay. Because it over cured. 
I mean, the easy way to fix that is Bondo and then sand it all down. Well, like I was saying, uh, this ain't gonna last anyway. Tacky clear, I could probably, what I usually do is use resin and I'll put it on here and then I sand it down. Which I don't even know how I over cured the, the because this is the solid part, this is the ho hollow part. Um, I don't even know how I over cured that, honestly. Doing touch ups is when I said I wasn't going to. All right. Well, there we go. Did I win that hammer? No, this is my son's. My four year old. Now, because I know that gap's there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another one. <laughs> I know I'm going to do another one. Then I'll do a custom one. Because that's where it's going to break. If he hits where that gap is, that's where it's going to But I didn't want to do Bondo. You know, I didn't want to do all that. That's weird how it's that much of a gap there. And I didn't overexpose it either. Because it could, when you warp, it could be overexposed or it could overcured it. And I wouldn't think that's overcured that much. But it is what it is. Pretty much his hammer's done, actually. That's all that touch ups there. All right. Hey, Juan, what's going on, buddy? Or girl? Is it gonna be Juan? Or Wanda. I can't give it a four year old overexposed piece. I'll take it. <laughs> of course you would. It's like, you can't take it. You know, as big as when it almost touches, I'm getting fingerprints all over this man. <laughs> I got to clear coat it, so oh, I got a place over there. Never mind. It's like I got a little uh, plywood I can sit on just. But yeah, that's it. Not for the stream, but I'm like, yeah, he's pretty much. I figure I knocked this out pretty quick. So I take that back. Robocop back there. I say, if you're first getting into printing, or not just really printing. Well, okay, let's say printing because this is easy. It's it's basically three parts because the handle is one file, and you got and this is automatically split, and you have these connectors, which I drop one. It goes in the handle and actually to this, but I didn't need it. And Robocop is simply silver if you want to paint him silver and black. 
the Monk Mjolnir here, I say it's probably going to be the easiest to do because it's three pieces. Um, four if you want to make the handle. I didn't make the handle, like, to hold it. Like, it has, like, a little base. But it it's basically three pieces, and it's, like, I use gunmetal metallic and leather brown. And then, boom. You know, we started at 5 o'clock. Not even 6.30, I'm done. And, yeah, I did rush it. <laughs> uh, but if you like, like if you're going to do this for your, like, uh, your son or nephew or whatever, it's just a simple, just I'm going to mess around, you can get it done pretty quick. Now, I still have to clear coat it. I'll do that off stream. And it, the clear coat, I usually, even though it takes like 20 minutes to cure, I'll let it set for 24 hours. And then, like I said, I probably won't put a wash on it. I'll just leave it clean because it's a gap. and and it but i'm i'm gonna do another one but i'm gonna do a custom paint job not gonna do the same uh what it is now i'll do the gun metal because i do like the gun metal look but like where the brown is here right i mean that's how big this damn thing is i'll do probably this black and these red and the handle here i'll probably do that red and the designs here i'll probably do it red like i'll go all out when i do it again And it might be a giveaway, you know, because like I said, we're not, I'm not uh, doing giveaways for members. I decided to just do that during a stream. You don't know when, so it's like, you want to show up because <laughs> you never know. Uh, especially people might be watching the replay. I'll leave the, uh, my chat, the live chat, I always leave it on. And you can ask them, you never know with me what I'm going to do. I'm just doing some touch-ups here. So there you go. If it tells you how big it is, I got to if I zoom all the way out. This is in the middle. I mean, this is 21 inches in length. So. Especially how long, how quick it took me to do this. I'm definitely going to do it, but I'll probably print both halves on, uh, the printer, the Sonic Mega AK, uh, because how I did this one was on the smaller one and it was piece by piece, so it did take longer. But each piece only took 10 hours for the hammer part. The handle took like five. So, yeah. Another shot of it right there. So like I said, you see the gap here, but it's four, four year old. When I reprint it, you're not going to have this. Because this is a surprise for him. I asked him, he didn't know when I was going to do this, so, and he ain't home yet, so I'll have it done before he, I had it done before he comes home. Now I'll put clear coat, but I'll show him. Oh, yeah, my son will give it a good wash. He'll give it a good smash, too. Like I said, I'll be surprised if it lasts till Saturday. And then I'll just buy him one. <laughs> like the toy, life size toy. I'll just buy him one right here. And I have Stormbreaker too. So there's always that one that I can print. And uh, that'd be fun to print the axe. Yeah. So you never know. Will I do Mjolnir or will I do a Stormbreaker custom? And will I give it away? You never know. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep, my order's here. So, all right. So, yeah. So, what do you want to what do you want to talk about? Because I'm done. <laughs> Ain't that the first? Oh, and Val Mayan, y'all got here not too long ago. The Robocop base. Um, I'm just gonna do that off camera. That ain't something gonna be interesting because I still don't know. I mean, I know what I what I'm gonna do. But with the TV part, this guy right here, uh, because I blew that section out, drilling it out because it had like resin and alcohol still in it. So I'm going to do probably brown leather on the back and I'm going to put charted here to make it look like he got shot out. I actually might put wires sticking out too, but 
yeah, I figured I wasn't going to stream the bass because it's like it, there's nothing to it, really. It's like, okay, you're painting the bass, and it's going to be quick. So I'm going to be doing this off camera. But RoboCop's done. I still got to clear coat him, though. That's why he's over there. Oh, I will. Instagram and YouTube and the community, I'll be like, well, you broke it. <laughs> and I'll take pictures. So it's like, I'm not bugging out that there's imperfection, is it, imperfections on this because I know what's going to happen. That I know that kid. He likes throwing things when he gets mad. You know, he likes slamming stuff. And, when, and, and usually when him and his sister get into it. So, and I just hope he don't hit her with it. Because <laughs> my wife's going to blame me. And she already said, you know he's going to break that. I'm like, yeah, but you know, he wanted the Spider-Man. I gave him a choice, Spider-Man or Thor. And he was like, Thor Hammer. All right. And I get it, because, you know, it's not like, he's not at that age. Like, they do statues. And like, oh, it's cool. And play with me. You know, it's, he's, uh, he wants to hold something. And, you know, like, play with it, you know. But yeah, um, then after that, like I said, Saturday, I'm trying to place things. So the Saturday is going to be the zombie series. You know, so I'm going to be printing uh, Superman. So like I said, if I, I, I print Val's Michael Myers on that one, this frees that one. So the Superman, then after that, I'll print the Harley Quinn. The Harley Quinn's cool looking. I think I got a picture. Let me see if, I can, if it's on here. Oh, but I can get one quick. I thought I saved one. I guess I, I, tr I threw it in the trash. Here we go. Now I should be able to. This is where I miss a second monitor. Here she is. Yeah, it's pixelated because I blew it up, but the sunglasses actually come off. That one's going to be real fun to paint. If not that one, then I'll show you. Um, this is the one that. I actually purchased. These are all of them. Wonder Woman's in, but the best is Batman, Superman, and uh, Harley Quinn. So that's the series. One day I might do Wonder Woman. I don't. Like, I'm not feeling it. And had the full size. I'm pretty good. Yes. Here we go. This is what it looks like as a whole. So, yeah, so she's going to be after Superman. Um, I really should print her next because I, I think I'm going to have more fun print, painting her than uh, Superman. Cause she's just creepy looking. <laughs> but the glasses do, do come off. Uh, you may have already said this. How long did the hammer take to print? Um, about 25, 25, 26 hours. Uh, the handle was one piece, and then it was 10 
and uh, now I'm one with 11. So we have about 26 hours, uh, which is not bad. But if I uh, did it on uh, this one, I think it would have been like 18 hours for the hammer because I could have put the hammer on both sides. Actually, I probably could have printed the whole thing um, on the Mega, but I did the handle on this one. So, like I said, it had been about, about 23 hours if I put it on that one. But, uh, yeah. And I might do a layer, because right now I'm, I'm running 0 0.05 millimeter layer. If I reprint, I might go down like the 0.03 to really get detail out of it, which will take longer. So if it's hitting eight hours, 18 hours now, it probably put about 24, 25 hours, which I don't rush. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care. I mean, the, I'll tell you this. The ghost face plaque that you won, my man, took 41 hours to print is how big it was. Like I said, I don't rush my print. I don't care if it takes 20 hours, 30 hours. If it if it comes out and it doesn't fail, I don't care. But a lot of people want that speed. But we're at this point in 3D printing that two people, uh, there's two things people want. They want a bigger build size and resin printers, and they want a heated vat. They don't give a care, give a damn about fast prints because the thing is, if you print fast, your the, the FAP that you always hear me talk about. That's right here. That gets wore out. And depending on what you're using, like this is not uh NFAP, and they have regular FAP, and then they got AFC ACF, ACF frozen, three of these, $110. And all it is is that. So the faster you run, you're gonna wear it out. But if you on a farming, you know, you farm like Etsy and you make miniatures and you I mean that's you know your business I get it but you know one six scale bust you increase them you don't want to do them fast run them slow and technically if you're going to run them slow you know take the the layer and bump it down to like three get more detail out of it if you're going to run it slow but that's me that's how I always do it I like it if they're like the small ones, like the, the one six scale, like Rocky, and it'll take 10 hours to do the whole body because I work 10 hours. So I'll start it up, make sure it doesn't fail. And when I come home, nine times at ten, nine times out of 10, when I walk through the door, I usually got to wait 10 minutes and it's done. I always like doing it when I'm at home, you know, but if I have to, you know, do something like for an event, I just take the chance. But usually when it hits 1%, I'll pause the print. And it raises, and I want to make sure nothing is not going to fail. Like, uh, you know, it's not going up the bill plate or anything. If it's not, then I'm good. You should do a Harley Quinn, the one zombie, Batman, Robin. Well, the thing is, I'm already doing Batman and Superman's next. But like I said, Harley Quinn might be next. But yeah, we got to do him Saturday. I still got to paint his body. No, I got to primer his body. I'll I'll do that Friday. But yeah, so there's always kind of things to do. Like, i only been really roughly printing since last... October resin printing I've been doing it since maybe two months so I don't know everything just what I experienced you know on these printers so I can't talk about any printer so if you got like a Jupiter I see like I saw this one guy selling a regular Jupiter which is the same thing as that but internet you know double doors for like 600 bucks you can buy that brand new for 700 this one a little bit more 1500 the wife bought me that one but, you know, and the thing is, do I agree with the price of it? No. Because this is all you get. No online. No sensors. No, like, auto leveling, which that doesn't either. But, you know, and that don't have internet. So, basically, but that's how I, I like it. They're basic. You know, I put, the, I, I put a USB stick in it, and I'll run it. You know, but, like, $1,500 for, yeah, speed, which I don't use. I don't 
you know, speed my presses. And a big build price? No. Because, you know, that one's 330 by 185 by 300. This is 277 by 156 by 300. So I got two big printers because I print big stuff. But I never rush them. That's why if you all ever do resin printers and you have questions, not hurt to ask. Because I try to answer as best as I can. There's more people know more than me. But if you ask me, what would you recommend me to do? Uh, resin printing or FDM? I'll ask you one question. What's your goal? You gonna do cosplay? FDM. If you're gonna do like figures and bust, resin. Now, there's, is it more messy? Yes, it can be. But you know, if you, if you take your time and you plan what you're doing, like I had a dog cage, which for a small dog and, and it had those, like, it has a tray for it. That's what I put my resin prints on. And then I clean it up, you know, wear gloves, wear a mask, IPA. If you take your time, it's really not that messy. Uh, FDM, like, when you, with the supports, they go everywhere. Not these. Like how I got my supports, they peel right off. I could peel them right off the bill plate. So detail and all that kind of work, I will tell you that I should have went resin when I first started. I should have stayed, just went resin because I, I don't go back. Yeah, I print some things on the FDM here recently, but I, I won't go back. These, that's what I like doing. Hey, Scott, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the stream. Zombie Godzilla. Well, only if they have it, dude. So, yeah, I mean, if anybody asks me, what do you recommend? Well, if you're cosplaying, FDM. If it's this stuff, then resin, because it's just a detail. You're not, I'm not going to say you'll never get the detail what you get of a resin printer, I can't say that because we don't know what the technology is going to hold for us, you know? But, as of right now, you're not going to get the detail like you can of a resin printer. Yeah, they're more expensive, but if you're doing big stuff and you want a big printer, but man, you get like a Uniformation GK2 that will print 1-6 scales, like Candyman and like Robocop. And it has a heated vat, and it's eight hundred bucks. This is fifteen hundred, but for fifteen hundred bucks, you can get the Uniformation GK2 with the washer and the cure for fifteen hundred bucks or twelve hundred bucks. But it just depends on what you want. Do you want to print big? Then you gotta go big, or you might have to slice it so many times. Me, like I said, I just could put it in there and go because I knew I was always always gonna print big stuff. But now I'm not printing really big stuff. I'm doing one six scales. And what's so good about that? Like uh, uh, Robocop or uh, Candyman, that whole body was one plate. One plate. And it only took like 11 hours. And then the base was, I think, maybe eight hours. So when you have a big bill plate like that and you're doing one six scales, something like that, you're talking about maybe two days, you're going to be done. But FDM. You know, you can print the whole thing, but now to that point, I still, like, when I did Fr uh, Freddy, you all know the Freddy that I did. Uh, it was in pieces. I didn't print the whole thing. Because some things you just want to print in pieces because it's easier to paint. Robocop, I put his arms on, his legs on, because I knew it was mostly silver and black and it's going to be easy to paint. But, like, I do another Freddy, it's going to be in pieces because sometimes you can't reach, maybe reach under an armpit and it's going to be a pain in the ass. What is the hardest print that I did? So far, of all the prints that I did, what caused me the most trouble, and I'm going to do answer this between FDM and resin. The first one was Freddy. That one cost me because it failed more. Because the glove would break. And then I forgot the size of him. So his size is 1 8 scale, but the base is 1 6. Or I, I, oh, I scaled it up 180% with Freddy, but with his base is 160 because I wanted the base to be a little bit smaller to make him bigger. That one was the most pain in the ass because it failed the most. On the resin printer, 
the hardest print that I did was uh, the Predator uh, because the gun. Uh, no, I take that back. I'm sorry. It was when I was trying to do the Ann Wilkes, Anna Wilkes, because the screen broke on that, and I didn't know. And I was constantly, I couldn't tell you how much resin I went through because it was cracking. And uh, so I put the Ann Wilkes on that one. That's why I always said that was my workhorse. But I didn't really know. Yeah, I take that back. I didn't know it cracked until I was doing the, the, the minor. Then I found out that screen cracked. And luckily, they replaced it for free. So the minor with that one, for Eddie Krueger on the, 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 the K1 uh, Max. But the thing is, I was learning when I was on that. I, now, I take what I know from here, and I put it on there, like the angles, and it's fine. I just got to... And another thing about FDM I don't like about sometimes you got to use glue for it to stick. I don't have to do that with this. I might have to add a little bit more bottom layers for uh, the, uh, you know, the stick to the adhesive plate, and you know, I might have to slow it down, which I don't run slow fast anyway. So nine times out of ten, if it don't stick because I don't have enough bottom layers. But usually when you dial it in and you keep the same resin, you don't change the resin, maybe a different color, but I don't. You just have to make sure it's warm. You have to make sure this is warm, at least 70 degrees. So I always have a heater going hours before I run this to make sure it's real, you know. Um, and I don't want to really say thick. It's like runny, kind of like, you know, if you can hear that, kind of like that. Then you're good to go. So that's why I don't like staying in here now, going on summer, painting white prints because it gets hot as hell in here i mean as soon as i because i got blankets moving blankets as you can see back here all the way around to trap the heat in and it's hotter than hell it's like you're opening an oven so that's the downfall with a, a resin printer but if you get a uniform a uniformation gk2 it comes in with a built-in heater in there so it goes up a, a temperature what needs to be and when it starts to drop temperature it raises and it, you don't have to worry about the getting a heater or putting a heater here and there so that's where we're at 3D printers, it's resin printers. A lot of them are putting heaters in. So it's really the best time right now. It is the best time to get a resin printer because they're all doing it. They're all putting heaters in it. If not the internal, they're putting them like in the corner. I just bought one for the Elgo that uh, is USB. So that I don't have to worry about using this heater anytime soon, only for this one. And I'm thinking about getting a heater inside here because i bought an inside heater for this one and it worked for two weeks and it went out so it just depends on uh you know um how much you're going to print you know so and resin does get expensive it can get expensive at one point it was charging me 100 you know cost me 120 dollars a month but i was printing a lot and big stuff so that's why i'm kind of going with one six scale i don't go through that much re uh, resin so you know it's a catch 22 on some things like fdm's good on this resin's good on this you know it's just really the fumes you just with any of it you got to be cautious you know but um they both have their perks they both have their cons fdm is stronger than resin unless you're going to hollow it out and then you really got to put the if you're not going to hollow these prints out you got to put heavier supports on there but it's going to be more so if i did robocop and i didn't hollow out i think it cost me with everything, with the base and that, I think it, in total, I think it was like 700 grams. Now, you remember, I do 1,000. Sometimes I buy 2K. If I did, if I didn't hollow him, it'd probably be 1,000. Easy. Now, I have a, a, a diorama that it's Alien and Predator there, and they're fighting, and just the air conditioning unit with an egg is 900 grams, and that's hollowed out by itself. That one, that's going to be in the future print. Because like I said, that I got it sliced. It's going to take a lot. I mean, probably two or three K to completely do the whole thing. I got it all sliced. And you're talking probably 60 hours to print. And painting would be, it's one of those that I can't have nothing. <laughs> like That's the only thing I'm printing. And I have to take my time with it. And... um if I did it, I'd probably give it to Sarah because Sarah said she'd pay me for the resin. 
but that's one of those like I don't know because that's that's a lot that's a lot of time on the printer and I'm talking about both of them not just one so yeah I mean there's if you're thinking about doing it do it cry once that's what I always say that's what I always believe cry once but cry once is over and done with we all put you know did something stupid but you can do anything with resin. You can do the bust, you can do prints, you can do some kind of tools, some earrings. You can buy the stuff for dentures because this is what a lot of dent a dentists buys these for dentures because they make the, they, the resin is basically dentures is resin. They make dentures. So you can do anything and the same as FDM, but you can do anything with resin. There's nothing you can print like those Funko Pops that everybody likes. We went to a, a, a bargain mart. I, th I told my wife I could print every single one of these. And all this, and it's going to be cheaper. And you can be. And the thing is, you do a custom paint, you are going to be given something that nobody has. And that's why I'm all about custom. You know, except this, like I, I want to do different colors because if you get it, no one else is going to have that unless they see it, and then they're going to, you know, replicate it, like the Predator uh, bust. No one has that 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 uh, skin color or the the paint theme. That's completely custom. That was. I'm gonna do this on the spot, like a, a, a it was um, like a, a like tan color, you know. It's actually cream, and then I did burnt sienna, and then I did black, and then I did brown on top of that. Made his eyes neon green with gray, you know. It's like no one's gonna have that, you know. Coriander is the only one that has that unless somebody sees it and they're gonna replicate it, which is always the case, you know. Somebody can see that stream and take it to. You know, uh, somebody who prints is like, I want this, and this is how it looks. And I'm fine with that. I don't care. It's like, well, I did something so cool that somebody wants to take it and use it. So it's like, when you get into it, what do you want, right? Are you just, you know, you want to see the comics and paint just like comics, or do you want something different? That's why I always tell people, do something different. Do something nobody has, and you want somebody to just really crave for it. And if you want to do this as a business, that's how you do it. You know, I'm not going to paint it this way. I'm not going to paint I paint it this way. And that's why I'm talking about thinking about selling, but I'm not going to take customers. I'm going to, I'll probably print something and put it out there and see what it does. You know, so yeah. Boy, that was a, a reach, wasn't it? That was a, that was a lot, but you know, I'm just, I love doing this. You know, I love it. Um, I used to play music in the stage. And when I quit, I had nothing to fill that gap until this and eric is <laughs> he, he 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 he's really the reason why i did it because he did printing you know he printed the 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 talk box and i'm like yeah that's a good idea and i just love this so much you know it's just it's so much fun and not because you're printing it's more the paint because like i did something that all these people like and you never thought It'd be like that, you know. You you never think. I think everybody thinks like that, unless you're just a cocky son bitch. And if you are, I, I don't want to talk to you. But you know, it's like, wow, you know, people want this and this and this and this because you don't. For me, and I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't see themselves that way. You know, they don't see that somebody wants something I did. You know, the printing, that's not me. You know, the the, the you slice it, the printer, the design, that's who designed it. But the paint, that's you. That's one hundred percent you. And like I said, do something different. Go all out, you know. Or you want to be safe and print, you know, like if it's a comic book or like a horror character or something, you know. If you want to play it safe, that's fine too, especially if you're getting into it, but to hell with it. Go custom, you know. is it? You never know. You, you just never know. How long did my Godzilla take to print? I think it was like 15 hours, and that was on the FDM. Uh, I don't know how y'all figure out how to work these. Uh, right there, what Jerry said, trial and error. And that's what it, there's a lot of times that I failed. But I watched so many videos and got an idea. I mean, you can go chat GPT and ask, what's the basics what you want to run? And it will give you the basic try here to bump it up. The thing with 3D printing, is you just get the file, you get the program, you put it in the slicer, and it's either you want to put it 35, 30 degrees or 45 degrees on the build plate. And always remember that the build plate 
is like you're gonna be like here's the bill plate okay and you're gonna put everything on that bill plate but you gotta remember it's gonna be like this so you figure they would have it you know like this and you put everything on so with faces you never want say this is the bill plate you never want the faces down you put the face down the supports is gonna be right here and nine times out of ten you're gonna have the little dots from the exposure and you don't have to sand it down but you put it on the face you start standing there goes the detail so you always want your head up like this and you want the you know the, the little bumps if you have it resin and everything you can get rid of and sometimes it adds texture like like i have bumps here there's bumps all the way around here because this is the old profile but it fits with the theme of, of batman and then uh you print and the, the exposure be 2.4 seconds three seconds you can't overexpose if you overexpose it'd be warpage uh but yeah, it's like, but you, you have files that they give you to test and you see where your exposure is, you know, and that helps you kind of get you in the ballpark. Like right now, uh, 2.4 seconds for both of these is meant. I can go to three and everything's fine, but you know, with 2.4, you can see the pupil here and everything. If I went to three seconds, it almost like blur. You won't really see the, the veins. Uh, kind of hard to tell in a one six shell, but when you blow stuff up, you can really see it. But I mean, a lot of people I get don't want to do it because they see like all oh, the printer and, and the slicing and everything. It really ain't that bad, you know. You watch videos, and you know there's a lot of a lot of videos out there. Uh, the one person I go to and I watch is uh, the Creative Collector. You know he. Uh, he has tutorials out there, but he's always the one that I go to. That's where I uh, learned how to, um, like, what angle to put it on. You know, he gave his settings for his, which his and mine's pretty close. Um, he slows his down a little bit more, but he has the 8K, which is the bigger version of that, so it runs slower. I can't run that that slow, then it starts peeling off the plate because it's running too slow. But it's trial and error. And like I said, when you get it and you get it dialed in until you have to re-level your plate, uh, bill plate because you got to change the FAP. And when you change the FAP, you have to re-level it. But, I mean, you don't have to get big printers. There's small printers. You can do all these prints but a small, like on a smaller scale. But uh, it's just... It's intimidating, but when you get in there and you, it's almost like riding a bike. When you figure it out, like, oh, this ain't bad. You know, it's like, uh, slice this, slice this. I mean, I'm faster slicing stuff now than I've ever been. And I just <coughs> put a UBS and just wait till it's done. And you take it off. You, And usually, you, like, I got a wash system and a cure system. It washes it. Now there's a timer. I put it on there for 10 minutes. And usually the cure machine, I put it on there for two minutes. But when it washes, I take it out. I take some, uh, I got some IPA right here. I spray it. And in the side, then I take my airbrush and I blow it out, you know, and then I put in the cure. And then uh, it's done. Then you're ready to uh, prime. So that's the thing with FDM. FDM, you got to sand it, you know, prime it, sand it. This, you just clean it, you know, wash it, cure it, primer it. You're getting, you're off the, you are already petting. And it's looked, uh, even though I've rushed this and everything, and there's runs because the primer, which I will be buying, going back to my old primer, um, about in, uh, an hour and a half, I was done with Mirror Mirror. So, so if you ask me, should you do it? Yes. Just do it. And the, I'm always there, available, you know, uh, check out my, uh, Instagram, you can always message me, and this is for everybody. You might, might watch the, the replay. You know, you can always message me for a question, and I give you as much knowledge that I know so far just getting into this and painting, you know. But I'm still learning, I'm still learning painting, I'm still learning how to print, still learning how to do this and this. But as a printing right now, I'm pretty much comfortable with these printers. You ask me for another printer, I don't know. I, they're all different. Like, Jerry, you can get a, Son, a Sonic Mega, and it could be, your exposure might be just a little different than mine, which I know it's weird, but it does happen. So it's like, 
You can always message me to any questions, and I'm glad to help anybody as much as I can because this is really a fun hobby. It really is. When you when you print it, but when you start painting it and when it's done and you look at it, you're like, I did that. You know, that 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 I did that. I didn't buy this. I didn't I did that. And it's like there's nothing really better than that. You know, and I take it to my wife, what do you think about that? And oh that's that's cool, that's cool. And she'll she'll take it, a picture of it, and send it to her friends and you know, so it's like I noticed that I am getting better. The more I paint, I'm that you know, I'm stepping up getting better, you know. But that's also taking your time. I hate Russian. I do. I hate Russian or rushing, not Russian. Russians sometimes some um ain't bad. I uh, can't understand them half the time, but I hate just I I want to take my time because I know when I start going fast I'll screw up and I was <laughs> my nerves was so shot with the predator because like I have to get this done because I'm talking about it the, it was you know the the event was that day and I had to I don't know if we did a watch party that day or not because I had to get it done and then. I don't know. I got to remember. I think we did have a watch party Friday and I did that. And I went to bed. It's like, I hope to God I wake up because <laughs> I was dragging. I don't think we did have one. Um, I don't think, but I don't know, like days run, but, uh, yeah, as this, it's really, really fun. I'm happy. I'm happy. I took the channel in this direction. I think it was probably my smartest decision because I think you all can see how much I like doing this, you know, I love horror. I love covering the news. I really did. I loved it, but it pissed me off. <laughs> and I don't like being you know, like angry, you know? The hell does that sound? Uh, because they would do this and they would do that. And I'm like, what the heck? And you just get angry. I don't get angry with this unless I mess up. Then, you know, it's funny because I call my. Like, but you dumbass, I knew that was going to happen. And, like, I, I try. So, it's like, well, I'm going to get this, and I won't mess this up, and I'll mess it up. I'm like, well, dumbass, and then I have to redo it. But horror movies get me so angry. And I think that's one of the reasons why I transitioned to this. And, uh, you know, and that's why I really called it Elm Street Studio, to pay homage to the beloved franchise that I love that got me in all this. So, that's... A, one of the reasons Elm Street, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street got me into horror, so why not call it Elm Street Studios? You know, because if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Honestly, I don't couldn't tell you. Could I say music? I'll probably be still playing music, but I probably won't be doing the YouTube thing. You know, so Freddie's been very, very good to me. You know, and uh, I'm happy with it. I hope you all are enjoying it. You know, because I know painting can be boring. But that's why I like having people in the chat because I have people in the chat I can talk and paint at the same time. And that's why I added the music in the background. Uh, that's why, because, you know, it's just, it's just planes, just hearing a a little boring. But yeah. But that's going to be it. I got to call it. It's seven o'clock. I might have to get ready to go to work. Just one more day and I'm off again. Oh, thanks, Scott. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, so that's it. Mirror, mirror, right here. One shot, one more shot of him. He's dead. Yeah, it's not the greatest, but it's for a four year old. I gotta go uh, put a clear coat on it. But Saturday, uh, I might move it to six o'clock because I do want to get Batman done Saturday. And uh, I gotta see if Cra if Craven's not streaming. We're gonna go a little later. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him if he's streaming. I'm gonna look up on his channel, see if he's streaming. Uh if he's not gonna be streaming because he didn't last Saturday, then I might keep it seven and we go until it's done. Um and the like the longest part is gonna be the body or the, the head. The body ain't gonna take that long. It's gonna be like near mirror here. When I get the body, we're gonna fly through it. Uh but uh yeah, so that's gonna be Saturday. And then uh Monday, uh, it might be the Freddy Krueger phone, but that's going to be a quick one too because I just got to do the bottom and 
or that might be Freddy. I might just go ahead or do the Freddy glove. I don't know. Uh, just pay, just you know, keep track on my Instagram. I'll let everybody know on the community post. I'm gonna try to post more on the community post and Instagram what I'm doing. Like I say, I'm trying to get this scheduled. Like Monday and Wednesday, we're doing this, and Saturday is gonna be the zombie series until we're done. After the zombie series, we'll think of something else, maybe a monster series. So yeah, if you didn't hit the like button, I appreciate if you hit it. Helps the the stream out when it goes to video for the algorithm. Uh. If you're watching the replay, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Check out the, the chat. Awesome, awesome community. And uh, it's the same community as Night Zone, you know, the Watches and the uh, the Craven Knights. We're all one big fa family. Hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the family. If you want to become a member, it's also in the description. Two ninety nine one tier. And um, I'm going to have a new emote when we get enough people. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Because it's a, it's a joke, but that joke is going to be told very soon, and it's about Gary Barber. So when I thought about this at work, I'm like, yeah, that's my that's going to be my next uh, emo. But I'm going to do something a little different. But two ninety nine, not a bad deal. And if you all continue to come to the stream, you know, like Val and all of them, I will be doing giveaways. But you don't know when, so you always want to stay tuned and see if I'm giving something away because you never know one of these prints that I do. I might be giving away. So, yeah. But that's going to be it. I'm JT. This is Elm Street Studio. Thank you so much for tuning in. We just finished Mule Mirror. He looks good. I called him it, uh, he, whatever. I'm happy with it. My son's going to be amazed. And I hopefully see you all Saturday at 6 p.m. I'm out of here. Later, folks.